Good morning, Nathan and Elise. A funny thing happened when I walked through these doors this morning. I realized, you know what? I'm just done with the whole TV news thing. And at the same time, Cody over here was like, I'm just done with being one of the owners of Barry Bagel. So that's why, uh, Cody, are you ready? I'm ready. He's a reporter and I'm a bagel master. <laughs> Last time we spoke, I was throwing glue sticks, but now, guys, it's time to get down to serious business. One more, just one more. I have, to, I have to do it. Good morning, Nathan Elise. It's official. I'm moving in. You are looking at my brand new home. I'm about to take you, take you around a bit. This is the kitchen where I'm gonna wake up every morning, whip up some pancakes, oatmeal. But you know, guys, sometimes you need a little fresh air, and that's why we have this beautiful 12-foot open door where you just walk right out into paradise. Nathan Elise, right now, please do not have any suspects, and they're still trying to put the pieces together because there appears to be a large gap in time from when this man was shot and killed and when he was ultimately found, and he was actually found by his own brother. That man said that he hadn't spoken to his brother in about a day, which was not very common for them, so he went over to his apartment at around 12.30 last night and when he went inside, he found his brother shot dead on the floor. It is absolutely pouring. So you might be thinking, what can I possibly do at the Greene County Fair? And I'll tell you what you can do. You can go to the Swine Market Show, which is just one of the many things you can do that doesn't require being outside in that rain. And this place, guys, it's like I've ne nothing I've ever seen before. Obviously, I'm from New York, so I can't really explain it all too well, which is why I am here with royalty. We have the Greene County Fair Prince Gunner and the princess right here, Frankie. So first of all, Frankie, break this down. Like, what is going on right now? We're going to be able to see you dancing down at Celtic Fest. Your Do you want to see this? Are... This says I was right. I predicted you were going to call no! me. <laughs> this closure will impact thousands. There's no doubt about it. And obviously, it's going to have a huge impact on the doctors, on the nurses, even the janitorial staff. But more than anything, it's going to have an impact on all of this. This is the community, the west side of Dayton. Guys, I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to think of all the decisions in my life that led me to here where I am right now. But I think I'm ready. We have Claudia, who coached me through it. And of course, guys, we have Mario. Mario, are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready, guys. I don't know if I am, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're about to do it. We're like literally in the middle of almost doing it. Okay, it's happening. I can feel it. I, yep, the vibration. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good morning, Nathan and Elise. Right now, we have a super exciting revelation. First of all, an Illinois license plate. I feel like you don't see that every day. Personally, I don't. Whatever, you know, I don't get out much. But second of all, if we pop this trunk, we have a bunch of supplies. But guys, why stop at one when you can hit two? And I've always said two. Eh, I don't really like two. Why not go for three? And three? Uh, it's not really going to cut it because let's do four. We have four trunk loads of school supplies all brought to you by Echo Brands. And you are looking at these wonderful volunteers. These are all interns. Greg Elise, welcome to Mark's, one of Ohio's favorite grocery stores since 1979. How may I help you today? Obviously, I'm taking on a little new role here. And take a look at this conveyor belt. I have never seen such a clean conveyor belt and may I do the honors okay just to make it let's see I've never done this oh you are going to be able to come out and watch these amazing acts because clearly I'm not a pro but you know who is a pro Claudia right here Claudia thank you so much for coaching me through well Greg Elise I just spoke with the fire chief a couple of minutes ago and he told me things could not have gone any more perfect this morning so if you look behind me you can see this fire is out earlier there were flames shooting from that roof but now firefighters are up there kind of just making sure there are no hot spots I'm not often speechless but right now I don't even know what to say Ian whenever he's ready I'm ready are you ready oh, are you he just does it he just does it we're going trying to talk right now but I can't because my heart is like beating through my chest because the thing is guys when I look down um yeah I just see this big drop that I'm not trying to do all right I'm trying to live here's the thing we have already gotten so many donations but we just can't do it alone we're gonna go hop on down. We are inside this store before the grand opening into the cereal aisle, guys. This oil makes me so happy. And one of the best parts about Mark's is the discounts and the deals. For example, Fiber One, you can get for $4.19. But guys, I am seeing one of the biggest things is the produce. They're gonna be having a huge produce sale going on for two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, 99 cent produce. One of the things, Elise, I know you know I love them. Carrots, you can get a bag of them, one pound organic for 99 cents that just doesn't happen but here at marks 
Oh, it does. Coming up, we're going to have a lot more fun take you around this store, show you what else you can see. For now, though, back to you guys in the studio. Oh, Nathan and Elise, I'm very excited. I am ready for phase two, not just because I'm standing on a bus, but because I have on this super cool camouflage backpack. Do you see it? Rhonda, Amanda Ward went missing in July of 2013. Every single year since then, her two sisters have held a vigil, and every single year since then, less and less people have shown up. But her two sisters say it doesn't matter what the weather's like. It doesn't matter if it's thundering or lightning or even raining like it was today. They'll be there. Tonight, Carla is releasing a balloon for a sister she hasn't seen in five years. I expected to hear from her again in an hour or two and say everything was fine. But as her other sister, Aaliyah, soon realized... Finally, I'm like, has anybody heard from Amanda? None of us have heard from her. The last thing Amanda told her sisters was that she was fighting with her husband. So to me, it was just another fight. It'll blow over. But little did I know that that was the last time I talked to my sister. And just like that, in July of 2013, Amanda Ward was missing, leaving her two sisters with questions. I don't sleep at night because all I think about is her. Where, would she, where could she be? And misplaced feelings of guilt. I look back on it every day and relive. What if I'd have done something different? What if I would have said something different? She left my house and I felt like if I could have just convinced her to stay, we wouldn't even be in this situation. After five long years, Amanda's sisters aren't looking to find her alive. Amanda was murdered. Without a doubt, Amanda was murdered. But they are looking for closure. You know, my mom's in a grave. I can go see that grave and, and have comfort in knowing my mom's there. Where do I go for my sister? A fountain? She's not here. But every single year, Carla, Aaliyah, and their family gather at this fountain in Springfield to honor the sister they miss and love. And by the way, the police department isn't giving up either. Throughout these five years, they've had a number of detectives on this case, and they just got a new one. And those two sisters who I spoke with said this detective works on this case every single day. For now, live in the newsroom, Clancy Burke, Fox 45 News on ABC.